Charles Lindbergh, Harry Carey, and Sally Jesse Raphael have in common, Chris. Well, they all got their eyewear from <laughs> Urkers right here in St. Louis. Wendy Erickson joins us live with more on what else the company has to celebrate. Well, how about 125 years in business? Pretty impressive. It's the oldest optical company in the country still owned by the same family. Urkers has moved stores and updated their styles, but the company's history in St. Louis will never change. This is a new product on the market, extremely flexible, lightweight. Eyewear has come a long way. The colors and styles today are a far cry from the days when Urkers made the goggles Charles Lindbergh wore for his famous Atlantic flight. Can't say that Urkers is responsible for the success, but he probably would have failed without them. Meet Jack, Jack, and Jack, three of the four generations of Urker men who've carried on the family tradition of helping St. Louisans see more clearly. The company dates back to 1879, when horse and buggy was the only way to get around. The original Urker Optical Company was started by my father's uncle. His name was A.P. Urker. Years later, Jack's father, the little boy in this picture, took over the business. This photo was taken at the 1904 World's Fair, for which the Urkers were the official photographers. Back then, their optical machinery won top prize against worldwide competition. It was only natural that Jack joined the family business. I worked as a boy up here making eyeglasses. Uh, it was 110 degrees in the summer. Throughout the years, Urkers has had four different locations in the downtown area, including this one, a few doors down from the Fox Theater. Along with the photos, the Urkers have preserved this payroll book from the early 1900s. The pay, you know, $30 a week, that's probably the high guy. Jack Sr. will tell you the company has survived more than a century by staying on top of the trends. Radios, when they became new, we sold radios. Uh, we sold uh, hearing aids, we sold binoculars, weather instruments, telescopes, anything with a lens, Urkers sold it. These days, Urkers concentrates on eyewear, custom fitting frames and accessories. I always say it's like you don't go to a hair salon, uh, a high-end hair salon, and someone hands you a pair of scissors and shows you where the mirror is and tells you to help yourself. On the contrary, customer service comes first around here. Even if you marry into the Urker family, you find out quickly the eyewear business is about helping people who want to see and be seen. Once it gets in your system, it's almost a passion. A passion that's 125 years old and still going strong. And Urkers has three locations in the St. Louis area. A new location in Ladue at 9717 Clayton Road. There's another new location at 173 Long Road in Chesterfield. And the Urkers on Olive Street in downtown St. Louis. You can see all of their phone numbers there on your screen. Here's another interesting tidbit. Only three companies that went into business in St. Louis during 1879 still exist today. They are Southwestern Bell, the St. Louis Symphony, and Urkers. Amazing. Well, they're doing something right. Yep. That's right.